For most people in the villages, health insurance is unheard of, even though illness is perhaps a major threat to their income earning capacity. They live under constant threat of illness and the threats it poses. Besides the direct costs of treatment and medication, the poor have to even take a hit on their income when they are unable to go to work due to ill health. Very often, illness takes a huge toll on not just the person who is ill, but the entire family. Schooling for children gets affected. The spouse's income is impacted since they need to take care of their partner who is ill. And if illness befalls the earning member of the family, then it is a sure downward spiral from then on. High costs of hospitalization and surgery pose the greatest financial risk for poor households. In the absence of any social security measures, they find it difficult to avail of the medical facility, especially in emergencies. Many families try to resolve health issues by using their savings, taking support from relatives and friends, or going to money lenders to meet the immediate requirement. At times, they need to sell off assets, in some cases, even income generating assets to meet the medical emergencies. Poverty along with poor nutrition and harsh living conditions makes the rural poor extremely vulnerable to ill health and diseases. This affects the economy of the village and hence the state and in turn establishes a vicious cycle. Health insurance for the poor and the poorest of the poor is one possible option for pooling the risks of ill health and thereby increasing access to health care. Keeping this in view, government of Andhra Pradesh launched Arogishri, a health insurance scheme for the poor. This scheme is primarily meant to take care of high-end diseases like cancer, heart or kidney and lung problems. Presently, trauma cases are also added to the list. But the poor usually suffer from common ailments such as fevers, appendicitis, malaria, jaundice, etc. and accident-prone ailments like fractures. They require ready money to take care of such ailments. A low-cost health insurance scheme that is specifically meant to take care of common ailments becomes essential. The principal mechanism that could make it possible to deliver low-cost health insurance is the affiliation of entire communities. Community-based insurance schemes are important as they cover primary, secondary and tertiary health care. This will increase service delivery from primary health centers. But this is difficult for private insurance companies to administer. As such, a voluntary health insurance scheme, Sanjeevani, was launched by the Zilla Samakya of Vishakapatnam under Indra Kranti Patam to provide quality health care to the SHG members living in the area. Sanjeevani is a self-funding scheme where members join by contributing a small amount as premium to make a corpus fund. The corpus fund is maintained by Zilla Samakya and is used to cover the expenditure pertaining to medical admissions and surgery requirements of the members. It aims to provide not only primary, secondary and tertiary surgical care and medical admission facilities, but also improve the quality of life through various healthcare initiatives. As such, the community develops through health education on preventive health, nutrition and sanitation. An SHG member is eligible to enroll herself under the Sanjeevani scheme by providing proof of her SHG membership. She pays a minimum of Rs 260 towards premium for a period of one year and gets a Sanjeevani ID card. The premium amount differs from district to district taking into consideration the negotiations held with the network hospitals in the area and the decision 
of the Zilla Samakya of the respective districts. With the premium paid, the member ensures her entire family to the maximum of five members, that is, herself, spouse and children, by getting access to quality and cost-effective health care. In turn, she protects herself and her family from the impact of financial burden. The age limit is 0 to 65 years. The Zilla Samakya, the PHCs, the government hospitals and the network hospitals are actively involved in running the health insurance scheme. The accreditation of the network hospitals is done by the Zilla Samakya members using the checklist. Network hospitals are those hospitals shortlisted under the scheme that provide treatment facilities to the Sanjeevani beneficiaries as per the policies and fixed rates of the scheme. A Sanjeevani beneficiary is eligible to avail the scheme's benefits only at a network hospital. The scheme reimburses only the cost of treatment to the network hospital as against the claims raised. Individual claims are not reimbursed. In case of tertiary care at the district health hospitals, the cost of the diagnostics and medicines to a maximum limit of rupees thousand is borne by the Zilla Samakya. The member enjoys a host of benefits under the scheme. Cashless hospitalization for over 1600 listed surgeries at the network hospitals. Cashless hospital services include room rent, doctor's fee, nursing charges, investigation charges, medicines and consumable charges, operation theatre charges, anesthesia charges, post-operative treatment whilst at the hospital etc. incurred towards surgery. All pre-existing diseases like asthma, diabetes etc. are covered under the scheme. Inpatient treatment requiring hospitalization for more than 24 hours. Maximum amount payable is rupees 5000 under the family package 5. This package includes consultation, investigation and room charges, medicines and consumables. The additional benefits under the scheme are free OPD services at all the network hospitals and at Sanjeevani health centers in the district, substantial discount on laboratory and other investigations at network hospitals, 40 to 50 percent discount on purchase of medicines at Sanjeevani drug stores. All the beneficiaries under the scheme are entitled only for general ward admission. The period of each enrollment is for one year and it is renewed every year. The Zilla Samakya appoints a case manager especially for the convenience of the beneficiaries. The poor are essentially quite similar to each other, with similar needs, low awareness, a low ability to pay and low levels of education. A case manager dons the role of a friend and a guide and is readily available at the service of the beneficiary. The case manager facilitates the process to ensure that the beneficiary gets timely and quality services at the PHC as well as at the network hospitals. The case manager mostly positions herself at the PHC during the OP timings and also visits the network hospital in assigned mandals as per the urgency of cases admitted or at least twice a week. The case manager ensures that the terms of the scheme are adhered to and the beneficiaries utilize its benefits. The case manager attends the VO meetings to take the feedback from the members about the quality of services available at the PHC as well as at the network hospitals and educate the members with messages for preventive health care, 
proper nutrition and sanitation. The case managers are provided mobile phones under the scheme so that they are easily accessible by the members so as to guide and communicate the messages immediately to the network hospitals and make necessary arrangements to admit the member in case of need. The case manager regularly interacts with the members undergoing treatment to obtain a feedback about the facilities available. The case manager informs the Zilla Samakya about any non-conformance and follow-up on action taken. Every Saturday, the case manager collects data and statistics from network hospitals about the beneficiaries utilizing the scheme under various illnesses and accordingly informs the Zilla Samakya office of the status. The case manager randomly verifies the operated cases for authenticity of the members. The case manager verifies the authenticity of every surgical case received for pre-authorization and submits the report to the Zilla Samakya office. The process of availing treatment at a network hospital. The enrolled member approaches network hospital with his Sanjeevani identity card. The Sanjeevani coordinator of the network hospital verifies the documents produced to ascertain the authenticity of the beneficiary by checking his ID card. Then the beneficiary seeking the facility is explained about his eligibility limits and the standard exclusions as applicable under the scheme. The beneficiary is extended free outpatient consultation facility as per the Sanjeevani scheme. No registration or fees is collected from the beneficiary for the OPD facility. If the beneficiary is found to require surgery, the coordinator at the network hospital sends the pre-authorization form to the Zilla Samakya for approval. The doctor appointed by the Zilla Samakya verifies the documents and the medical reports and then sends the approval to the coordinator at the network hospital. Now the beneficiary is admitted in the general ward of the network hospital and is extended the surgical facility. No advance or admission fee is collected from the beneficiary at the time of admission by the network hospital. In case of an emergency, the coordinating officer takes verbal sanction from the medical officer at the Zilla Samakya and proceeds with the surgical treatment. The pre-authorization for the same is sent to the Zilla Samakya within 24 hours. Pre-authorization means the approval by the medical officer at the Zilla Samakya if all documents as per checklist are in order, that is, photocopy of the Sanjeevani ID card, the diagnostic report to prove the medical treatment or surgery is required. The package rate covered under the scheme for a surgery includes admission charges, bed charges, nursing charges, anesthesia charges, OT charges, surgeon's charges, cost of consumables and medicines during the surgery and post-operative period, post-operative charges during the stay at the hospital, surgery-related post- and pre-operative investigations. A family of five is entitled to a maximum limit of Rs 30,000 for availing surgical benefit in a year and Rs 5,000 for medical admission. The following are not covered under the scheme. Implants including valves, grafts mesh, stents, nails, screws, transplants, autoimmune diseases, vaccination, dental surgeries, vitamins, tonic and sanitary items, follow-up treatment, spectacles, hearing aids, dialysis, ambulance services, food, artificial limb, telephone charges, 
kidney transplants, any other expenditure which are not related to the illness or hospitalization. The claim form from the hospital should be enclosed along with photocopy of Sanjeevani ID card, original pre-authorization issued by Zilla Samakya, operation notes, original discharge summary, final bill raised on the name of Sanjeevani and not on the beneficiary, investigation reports or prescriptions. The process of reimbursements to hospitals followed at the Zilla Samakya are medical scrutiny of the claim by Zilla Samakya medical officers, account scrutiny of the claim by the accountant of the Zilla Samakya, submission of the statement of processed claims for release of funds. The Zilla Samakya office bearer reviews and sanctions the claims, issues DDs in the name of the network hospitals. The DDs are sent to the network hospitals through the health subcommittee members of the same mandal where the network hospital is located. The Zilla Samakya plays a significant role in successfully implementing Sanjeevani Health Scheme by formulating policies, identifying and approving network hospitals to provide healthcare and surgical operations as per the policy of the scheme, generates and receives grants and contributions towards the furtherance of the objective of the scheme. The Zilla Samakya constitutes a task force committee with the members from the medical colleges, retired medical professionals with social service motives and professionals with social work background to meet and review the claims in terms of the issues related to medical grounds and the perceptions of the beneficiaries. It also conducts medical audit of the claims processed till date. Conducts accounts audit every month through the auditors appointed under IKP, generates reports and does the analysis and shares it in the regular Zilla Samakya meetings, takes further codes of action to establish mechanisms for preventive and promotive healthcare delivery from public health system, propagates diligent utilization of funds mainly for all emergency cases, arranges financial support for post-operative care after discharge from the hospital by granting loans under health risk fund in health and nutrition pilot mandals, recycles community investment fund for social needs in rest of the mandals, represents the scheme in all courts, departments of government, semi-governments, local authority or any other statutory bodies in respect of the trust matters, administers day-to-day -day operation of the scheme, appoints the required manpower to monitor, manage and maintain a 24 by 7 call centre to guide and assist the members and the network hospitals, gives approvals for pre-authorizations sent by the network hospitals, processes claims received from the network hospitals and arrange reimbursements, maintains accounts with regard to inflow and outflow of Sanjeevani fund. One of the main aims of Sanjeevani is to propagate health promotion and preventive medicine, not just curing symptoms. It is the holistic understanding of health which includes physical, mental and spiritual well-being ability to maintain livelihood and social relationships. As such, counselling on preventive measures, stress on good nutrition and balanced diet, maintaining clean water resources, hygiene and sanitation and pollution-free environment are a regular feature in all SHG and VO meetings. There are many who are experiencing the benefits of health insurance. This Sanjeevani member says, I am Thalla Trimurthulu and I hail from Chodavaram village in Narsipatnam Mandal. I belong to Ganesh Sai Baba group. During one of our SHG meetings, I heard of the Sanjeevani scheme. 
I felt motivated to enroll in this game by paying rupees 260 towards yearly premium. This I did as I had earlier undergone two stomach operations and suffered heavy hospitalization charges. As I once again suffered stomach pain, I went to our area hospital for consultation. They referred me to KGH. I was not too keen to undergo treatment at a government hospital as I wasn't sure of the care that I would receive there. But I was proved wrong. The case managers of the Sanjeevani scheme extended personal care and help and I was soon operated. I recovered well. Today I am hale and hearty. I now motivate people to enroll themselves in Sanjeevani and avail all the benefits that are provided. So far, I have enrolled 270 members into the health insurance scheme. Another member of Sanjeevani, Parvatama says, When I fell ill, I visited our area hospital. They conducted a scanning and few tests. As my case was complicated, I was referred to KGH. The case manager took good care while I was at the hospital. Later, when I recovered, the case manager was good enough to drop me home in my village. Parvati has enrolled herself in the Sanjeevani scheme. She says, I find this health insurance scheme extremely beneficial not only to me but also to my entire family. Whenever any one of us falls sick, the case managers are readily available to take us to the network hospital. We do not have to pay any OP charges at the hospital. We get 10% discount on medicines and 20% discount on tests. Subama's daughter-in-law says, My mother-in-law holds a Sanjeevani card. Looking at all the benefits she gets at the hospital, I shall also now get enrolled in the Sanjeevani health insurance scheme. Sushila is yet another beneficiary of Sanjeevani who is presently undergoing treatment at KGH. Her brother says, My sister suffered acute stomach pain. The case manager got her admitted in KGH. Here it was diagnosed that she had appendicitis and she underwent an operation. With the personalized care being given to her and the facilities that are extended, she is recovering well. Without membership in Sanjeevani scheme, we could not have availed the facilities. Vallur Apharao suffered multiple fractures when one day while breaking stones, a big rock fell on his leg. His son got in touch with the case manager. The case manager first took him to a hospital in Narsipatnam. Apparao was later shifted to KGH in Vishakapatnam as he had to undergo operation. He says, here they treat me well and I am recovering fast. This was possible only because of Sanjeevani. Misconceptions and superstitions against health insurance are gradually fading within the community which is seeing families benefiting from the product. Acceptance is on the rise. After all, health insurance now comes with health assurance.